think nothing of it. Follow me. Okay. Since you have proven yourselves to be friends of the Yeti, I have brought you here to share in our biggest secret. These great totem poles have been gathered from across the world and passed down from generation to generation of Bigfoots. Like fruitcake. We believe they hold the answer to our ultimate salvation. <laughs> like fruitcake. But the secret of their purpose is a riddle we've been unable to fathom. Sounds heavy. Like fruitcake. <laughs> it's real heavy. Bruno. Like fruitcake. Why aren't you at the party? Who can party while their world comes to an end? Most of your mange-ridden brethren, apparently. I told you it was a bad idea to spike the punch. I thought it would loosen up everyone's imagination. No wonder we're facing extinction. Okay, guys, here's the situation. The Bigfoot way of life is rapidly going down the tubes. These totem poles might be able to save us, but A, we don't know what they mean, B, most of us have been partying too much to figure out what they mean, and C, we Bigfoots have a hard time operating in public, if you know what I mean. We wouldn't normally be asking for help, but we're desperate. Well, that's how we get most of our gigs, so why not? <laughs> Great. Why don't you three get cracking on the totem poles? I'm going to the hot tub. Okay. What is this? Some kind of tornado? Dentistry? A patron saint of Bigfoots? Looks like a before and after shot. Uh... Hello. Okay, Sam. He's here. We're here. Let's go. Wait. Go where? Back to the carnival so we can get paid, you big lummox. I may be slow, but I am not stupid. I'm staying right here. Psst, Max. What? Maybe we should wait a while before returning Bruno to his well-meaning yet horribly twisted owners. Why? Because I have a sick, gnarled premonition that something important is going to happen to the Bigfoots. And it would be nice if Bruno were here to see it before we slapped him back in a block of ice. <laughs> You're getting soft, Sam. We've decided to let you roam free until the end of the convention. Gee, thanks. Is there anything I can do for you in return? What do you make of that totem pole on the far left? It's something with the vortex. Let me take a look. Hmm. Well? It's a totem pole. And? It's made of wood. It's not too late to take him back to the carnival, you know. <laughs> Any keen Bigfoot insights into the totem pole with a tooth on it? I've been staring at that one for hours, and... Yes? I think it has something to do with teeth. I'm not holding my breath, but do you have any clue who the guy in the third totem pole is? Nope. He sure seems to get along with vegetables, though. Sam, the guy in that pole's got a marshmallow. So? I want a marshmallow. <laughs> Max, you are a marshmallow. <laughs> See that totem pole? What about it? What do you think it means? Hmm. I've got it. What did you tell them? I told them to start looking for bald guys with spaghetti on their heads. So what do you think about all this? I'm just happy to be here, Sam. Happy to be at room temperature and happy to be free at last. Born free, as free as the wind blows. Max. What? What were you saying, Bruno? <laughs> I lost my thought. Darn. How'd you and Trixie meet, anyway? We didn't really meet until she thawed me out. But I've loved her ever since that first night she snuck into the freak tent and sang me to sleep with a Scrantonese lullaby. <laughs> and you want to put him back in a block of ice? Yeah! So? I give up. Well, now that Conroy's out of your hair, what are you going to do? Try brushing it, maybe? Well, I've still got the Cushmans to worry about, so I guess I'm still a little tense. Be seeing you. Hmm. Not if I see you first. Is there anything else around here? It doesn't look like it. Oh.
There we go. It would be something. That's one damn stately looking big the pool of decadence. Bring me as many naked women as my poor eyes can stand. Jesus, Max, you don't even like girls. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Are you as confused as I am? More so. I, I didn't mean to well, go to Max. That's all. Hello. Can you spare a second? Not really. But since you're saving my species from extinction, what the heck? What do you make of the first totem pole? As you know, this is a problem that I've been working on for many years. Research strongly suggests this totem pole to be representative of the whirlwind nature of us Bigfoots. Wild and always moving. Hmm. What's your take on the second totem pole? I'm glad you asked. You see, I believe that it represents the sharp edge of ancient history. The fantastic staying power of the Yeti people over the millennia. How does the third pole figure into the scheme of things? Let me be very clear. That pole constitutes the harmony from the coexistence of two similar beings. A harmony that springs from mutual respect and understanding. What does the fourth totem pole represent? I'm asked that very question all the time. My answer, rapid growth. What can you tell us about Bruno? Is it me, or does it feel as if we've asked just about everybody in the country about Bruno? Ah, Bruno. Full of vim and vigor, ready to take on the world. He reminds me of when I was his age. Hmm. What do you think about Trixie? She's such a sweet girl and very representative of the open-mindedness of our Yeti leadership. We're very proud of that. I just had an idea. What's your official stance on Conroy Bumpus? Conroy Bumpus is a threat to the American way of life. It has been and continues to be of highest importance that we rid ourselves of this most negative influence on the young people of our brave new world. The missus and I sure like his music, though. <laughs> we'll be back. I'll be here. Okay, there's two ideas. One, uh... Let's just dump this in here. Hey, Mr. Chief, we found something that might tie into your totem poles. Yeah? W what is it? Ooh. Hey! Hair growth tonic. Very resourceful. Okay. We just like stealing pillows. Okay. I do have an idea. Oh, no. Let's go. This one I'm not sure about. This one I have an idea on what to do. Like, a way to go. I'm, obviously, this is something to do with the face people but let's see if we can't go for the vortex at the moment uh, actually let's have a quick look in here it's a freezer I can't pick that up Uh, oh, no. Conroy on ice. Let's put them back before they melt, Max. Good idea. I think they make an excellent still life. Okay. <laughs> Anything out here? No. Okay. That's fine. Like I said, I have a idea. It involves going back to the world of twine. Do, 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 do. I do like how you end up going back to places as well. 
Uh, it's not just a linear... Uh, a linear point to point to point type deal. Like you you kind of forced to return to some places and whatnot. It's good. I like it. Hmm. All right. Can we get you? Could you bend this? Sure. Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. I don't know why it's changed color suddenly, but. How's that? Great. Didn't bend the way I expected it to, but it works exactly how I want it to. That seems to have gotten the cork off. Shall we raise a toast to nuclear disarmament? What, 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 this poison? Don't be silly. <laughs> that seems to have capped the snow globe. There you go. Yeah! I got to use this elevator. Oh, dang it. I did it! I remembered the thing. So now we can go to the uh, the Vortex world to get that one. So I don't see any reason not to do that now. Because at least then that's another one that we've done. Oh, no. So there's just the... Veg and the teeth. I remember when I played this game before, it's like I just so desperately wanted to grab like the bucket or something there. It's like guaranteed that that would be helpful for something. Then I realized, you know, that's not how these games work. Uh. I can't pick that up. Can we try the vortex? Step right in. Okay, in we go. And sloop. And cork. Wow, the snow globe actually sucked in the pseudo-mystical energies of the mystery vortex. I was hoping something like that would happen. So, we... oh, we can't look at the poster. It's a snow globe full of swirling pseudo-mystical energies. Okay. So that's two down. So let's head over to the T-Rex and see if we can't get a tooth there somehow. I mean, that that's the thing that makes a sense, right? Uh, feed him a golf ball. I can't use these no. things together. <laughs> it's a perfectly... I can't use these things together. 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 Oh, huh. How about we use it's the rope? 90... I've not used the rope yet. Ah, here we go. Okay. I can't take it anywhere. I haven't got enough leverage from here to pull out a tooth. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. I can't take it anywhere. Why would you tie it around the neck? Oh, 
<laughs> there you go. We finally got the tooth. The whole tooth? Nothing but. I did it. So I guess the last thing would be here. I can't believe Harrison actually agreed to this. It is a stunning likeness, though. It's amazing what they can do with mushrooms. I can't talk to that. So, how did you get started hmm. in this line of work? Oh, I'm a natural. My mother's an artist, my father's a farmer, and my great-grandfather was a village idiot. <laughs> it's in my blood. I see. What about Sasquatches? What about them? I grow more fascinated by the moment. I feel chock full of vitamins and ready to go. The likeness from a pic. Well, bye. Your likeness from picture. I don't think she'd want that. I can't use these things together. Hmm. It's a scorecard from the Gator Golf Emporium in Roomy Eyes, Florida. I can't use these things. I don't think she'd want that. So, we need a picture. Is what I'm getting at. And then we'd get the likeness from it. Which will then be able to... Get the thing. I'm trying to think of where we could find the picture, though. Hmm. I mean, unless it's the picture that we saw here. Stunning portrait of John Muir, famous naturalist. There we go. <laughs> uh. Okay, we did it. Uh. Oh, I just noticed that the bus isn't there as well. Okay, neat. Detail. A stunning portrait. I can't use these things yeah. together. What do you make of this? Famed naturalist John Muir, eh? This looks like a zucchini squash to me. I can do this, but it'll take a short while. Okay. Is it done yet? This is a monument to human ingenuity. Thanks bunches, sonny. Eh? Well, bye. Is it, is it something we actually have to wait for? Just like leave and come back, or maybe it's like a you gotta go to loads of different places. Where's my John Muir vegetable? Ah, thank you. Here you go, son. A zucchini squash that looks just like John Muir. Gee, thanks, man. I guess it's for free. Thanks. Bye. But I believe that's everything. I can't use these things together. Oh, just shut up and get in the car. <laughs> no, go through the door. I don't know. There we go. I 
I mean, yeah. This is the three things. Oh. Oh my gosh, it's so tricky to get to the back. Don't touch anything? Okay, there we go. Uh, I believe we've deduced the secret of one of your totem poles. Hit me. Boom. Hey. Combination of man and nature. Inventive. Is it soup yet? I think I figured out one of the totem poles. Uh huh. Let me see. It would have been bad if that didn't work because we only had the one of them. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I love this guy's animations. A handheld vortex. Good thinking. Thinking had nothing to do with it. And finally. It's a somewhat authentic di- Hey, Chiefy Poo. I think I figured out one of those baffling totem poles. There you go. They've vanished. A genuine dinosaur tooth. I figured it might be something like that. Genuine. Did you say genuine? Air quotes. Well, that should do it, right? Well, if it was, then we just threw away Nothing's a lot happened, of money. Sam. What's the story, Pops? Oh, I don't know. I'm sure you got the ingredients right, but... Of course. How silly of me. What? In order for the spell to work, we need a living Bigfoot sacrifice. Uh -huh. It would be a shame to lose one of these furry fellas, don't you think? Wait, I've got an idea, and it doesn't require high explosives. Wait here. While he's gone, I'll go see if any of the Bigfoots wants to off themselves for the greater good. <laughs> Very fancy stuff happening. Huh. Looks slightly problematic. one heck of an impressive display and actually highly destructive to boot goodbye Sam and Max I'm not sure how I could ever thank you so I guess I won't <laughs> fair enough will you and Trixie be heading back into the forest to live an idyllic nature-oriented existence together hell no we're going to Vegas to get hitched if it hasn't been trashed by all this crazy redwood nonsense we want to be in a place where we can sort of blend in live our lives Maybe even raise a family. Ew. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, you nutsy, primitive man-beast, you. You boys should be proud of what you've helped us achieve here today. You Given stopped the global warming. the destruction of the symbols of modern civilization in the western United States, you bet we are. Do we win a prize? Well, oh, why not? This medallion has been a part of my family for untold generations. Wear it in good health. 
He's gonna eat it, isn't he? Thanks, Chief. Max loves cheap <laughs> sentiment. Mmm, mm. foil covered chocolatey goodness. What's wrong, Sam? I don't think the wizard has anything in that bag for me. Well, I could give you my ritual headdress that I bought at Snucky's last week. I appreciate the gesture, but I've already got a hat. Well, that's fine, too. Farewell, Sam and Max. Remember, though the night be dark, the dawn oh. shall awaken and annoy you. Have a nice day. <laughs> I love that. I'll miss that old rascal. I'll miss the way he smelled like a bag full of damp hamster shavings. Just like Grandpa. Hey, we forgot to get paid. Don't worry, little buddy. I've got it all covered. I hope you're happy. With those idiots on the case, we'll probably never see Bruno again. Oh, lighten up, Burl. Hey, they're back. Did you find Bruno? Of course. Bruno! How can we ever repay you? Money? The blank looks on your faces are the only reward we need. That and a big fat check. Would you settle for 3,000 skee-ball tickets? Close enough. Let's go, Max. <laughs> you know, Max, I can't help thinking that we've foolishly tampered with the fragile inner mechanisms of this little spaceship we call Earth. Gosh, Sam, if a few hundred years of civilization have to be total just to ensure that a bunch of smelly quasi-human creatures have a safe haven for their disgusting lifestyles, then so be it! You crack me up, little buddy. Burl, did Bruno always have four arms? Hey! Great, hey, little minigame. I want to say they're like references to the previous games they've made and like Star Wars stuff. I want to say that. Whether or not it's true, I don't know. But all I see with this one is Bubsy and that really confuses me. Why, why would it be Bubsy? I mean, it is drastically easy. Uh, I just like letting it go over here so you can shoot it with Max. Who I really don't think should have a gun. Hey, it's time to. But yeah, this is Summer Max. It's a fun little game. I'm glad, glad we got to finish it. Glad we actually got through it all. Um, glad I didn't get stuck really at any point other than a couple of areas, but nothing too extreme. So, yeah. Fun little game. Uh, it took us ages as a uh, as when we were young to try and get through much of it. And like I said, it was towards the vortex area that we got as far as we got. Uh, but yeah, I do like how I said a lot of the you do have to revisit some of the other areas from time to time to make sure you get things. Uh, the Vitans, you know, hilarious. Uh, yeah. One thing I would like to do is maybe look into the uh, the new Summer Max games. I say new. They're like over 10 years old now, probably. You can stop now. Can I? No, really. Oh, you say that, there's nothing... I'm, I'm waiting on you, game. It's over. Is it over, though? We're leaving. 
Okay. Damn. Does it just go straight into friends? Oh, no. Okay, so we died. <laughs> Does anything, does anything happen? I don't know. Either way, okay. Semantics aside, uh, yeah, I would like to maybe go and look into them at some point, but I uh, might wait a bit. We'll see. Uh, there's so many other games I want to play, because of course, after playing this, I really want to play Grim Fandango, which might come next, because, man, I love Grim Fandango. Uh... Yeah, this is Sam Max. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you guys want to see the newer games. Because I'll, I'll happily play them. I believe I have them all. It's just a matter of playing them. Funnily enough. I'm rambling now. Because I really don't know how to end this. So, I shall see you all in the next game. Whatever that might be. Bye!